guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a compilation of 10 awesome rare weapons that you can find in Fallout 4. I know a lot of you guys out there do prefer these type of videos when they are done in a bigger type of compilation so that's exactly what we're going to be doing here today. As always, if you do enjoy these compilation videos and this does help you out, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. And with that being said, let's get straight into this. So the first weapon we're going to be taking a look at today is known as the Gainer, a rare and unique version of the Magnum that sets your targets on fire. To get this, you want to make your way over to this location on the map. This is actually a secondary location, so um, you won't see like a marker or a place to go to. Just literally come to this location. And once you're here, make your way down into the pump house. Once down in the pump house, you'll notice a machine on the wall. And when you press the buttons on it, you'll notice that a code comes up or a number. And basically, you need to input a code. And to find the code, you want to look directly behind you on the wall. And you'll see the code 0451. And this is exactly what we need to put into the machine but there isn't actually a zero on this machine so instead of putting a zero for the first button you're going to be pressing this one 10 times so once again press the first button 10 times to bring 10 on to the first column for the second one press the button four times to bring up four for the third one press it five times to bring up five and then for the last one press it one time to bring up one when you do this correctly, this will then open the door and allow you in to the room. And in the room next to the skeleton is exactly where you will find the Gainer Magnum. Go ahead and pick it up and that is your first row weapon of the compilation. For the next weapon, we're going to be taking a look at the prototype UP77. You can find this located over at University Point right here on the map. And when in the main area, to the right side of it, you'll see a bank. And you basically want to enter the right entrance of the bank exactly where you see me going now. Once in there, take a right and you'll see a terminal on the wall followed by a door. To unlock the door, you will have to hack the novice terminal. Once you've done that and made your way through the door, you will then want to make your way down the stairs and you'll notice a big vault. Once again, you'll have to hack the novice terminal to open up the vault. And inside of here, there'll be a bunch of things. Now, you do have to have master lock picking to be able to get this, unfortunately. Uh, there'll be a few safes in here that you can unlock. One with advanced uh, lock picking and two with master one. And uh, when you unlock one of the safes using the master lock picking, there'll be a button behind it. Instead of anything else being in there, there'll just literally be a button. So go ahead and press that button and this will open up a secret room. And inside of that secret room on the table is exactly where you'll find the prototype UP-77. That has unlimited ammo capacity, which means that you would never have to reload this gun, uh, which is definitely an awesome perk about this weapon. For the third weapon, we're going to be taking a look at the Spray and Pray, which is pretty much a round unique version of the submachine gun that bullets explode upon impact, which is an absolutely outstanding perk uh, to have on any weapon really. So to get this one fairly simple, you want to find the traveling merchant known as Cricket now. She can be usually located just outside of Vault 81, which I'll go ahead and bring up the location uh, for you guys right now. But she can also be found in various other locations, such as just outside of Diamond City, uh, the front entrance that is. Um, but once again, mainly over at Vault 81. And don't worry if you don't see her there straight away. Uh, you can do what I did, just simply sit on the chair and wait and keep waiting over and over again uh, until she eventually does actually go there, as you can see this happened to me. And when she does eventually spawn, go ahead and talk to her and she'll be sending the weapon for around 2,700 caps, which is a reasonable price for weapons. Like I've seen some weapons out there that sell for like 15,000 caps. So a bit of a reasonable price there, of course, depending on your character build and stuff like that, it may be a little bit more or a little bit cheaper, but around that mark is exactly what you can expect for this weapon. Now the next weapon is known as the Alien Blaster and Luck actually plays a bit of a part into this one. Like um, just playing the game naturally, you'll probably end up like having this random occurrence just appear out of nowhere like me. But for the most part, it's just based on luck. Just play the game normally and hopefully uh, this will happen to you. Now, usually you would have to look out and hear basically a spaceship flying down from the sky and crash landing. But if you're like me and completely miss that, you can simply come over to this location on the map right here. And if you go here, you should see like trees on fire and stuff and there'll be a spaceship landed in the ground. Now, if that isn't there for you and the trees aren't on fire and stuff, uh, then this random occurrence hasn't happened to you just yet. So just keep playing the game for a while and hopefully it does happen to you. Um, but basically, when you get to the spaceship, you will see like green alien blood 
on the floor and you basically want to follow that trail all the way into this cave. When in the cave you'll find an AD in there which you can take out in like literally two bullets of pretty much any weapon that you use. When killing him he will have the rare and unique alien blaster pistol and I have to say this weapon is genuinely beast so definitely one to pick up uh, if you are looking for some good weapons out there in Fallout 4. For the next weapon we have the shish kebab. You can find this over at the Sorgas Ironworks. You will want to come prepared to this fight though because you'll be going up against a bunch of forged enemies. Now these are genuinely so annoying to fight against. They'll come close to you with flamers, they'll throw molotovs at you. Uh, so once again, you want to try and get maybe a bit of a distance away and try and pick them off at a distance. But when you take them all out from the outside of the ironworks and then head inside and take them all out from the inside and then go up to the top floor, you'll end up coming across a major forge guy known as Slag. Now, you're going to want to take him out. And upon killing him and looting his body, you'll find the Shish Kebab melee weapon. And this thing looks awesome. Just look at this thing. And genuinely is a all round great melee weapon to have if you are someone out there who likes these melee weapons in Fallout 4. And while we're on the subject of melee weapons, why not check out Grognak's Axe? This one is probably one of the easiest ones to obtain uh, in this compilation. And you can get this by going over to Hobris Comics. Hopefully I'm saying that right there, but here's the map location for it. Uh, not too far from Swan's Pond. If you guys do remember from the, the last compilation it did, uh, that's where you obtain the big power fist weapon. Uh, but basically go inside of Hobris Comics. While inside of there, just simply look to your left, there'll be an expert case that you need to unlock. When you unlock that, inside of there will be Grognak's axe. And I mean, it's a freaking axe. What is there not to like? You know, once again, if you are someone out there who loves melee weapons, this is definitely one that you guys will want to obtain. And for the next weapon, this is an alternative way on how you can get the railway rifle. Now, I do know you can get this by siding with the railroad, but some people won't be doing that or some people may not want to do that. So this is just another alternative way of getting this from a random location known as Big John's Salvage. Once again, here is the map location for this. And when going here, you're going to want to take out the super mutants. There's going to be a ton of these guys, so make sure that you do come prepared. Uh, with quite a bit of ammo and when you've taken the majority of those guys out you will then want to head down into the hardware store and out of the back once out of the back you want to take a right then take another right until you come across the circuit breaker go ahead and activate that then come to the same location that you guys see me going to now and inside of this kind of tilted down train there's gonna be a hidden shelter once inside of there on the table, you will find the railway rifle. Once again, this thing isn't as rare as other weapons, but it is one of those things that, you know, if you maybe not want to join the railroad, uh, this is just another alternative way of getting this, and it is definitely a very good and very unique weapon. Now for the next weapon, this one's known as the Overseer's Guardian. Once again, pretty damn simple to obtain. Uh, you want to make your way this time into Vault 81. Instead of going outside, you actually want to make your way inside this time. Uh, complete whatever you need to just by going in there. You'll need to give them, I think, like three fusion cores to get in. And uh, once you're in there, go ahead and take the elevator upstairs. To the right, you'll find a store where Alexis is and she'll be pretty much holding the Overseer's Guardian that you'll need to purchase for around two to 3,000 caps, which isn't too bad once again you know it's a very good weapon this is actually a combat rifle that has a very awesome perk of being able to shoot an additional projectile for the price of one which is a very good perk to have once again on pretty much any weapon so once again for a price range for around 2000 i'll probably say to 3500 uh, depending on you know on your character build and stuff uh, you will be able to purchase this weapon from alexis and talking about being able to purchase weapons if you head over to covenant and then make your way in there and then go to the right you'll find penny where you can actually purchase the justice shotgun from uh, for around two to three thousand caps which actually has a perk of being able to stagger your enemy Enemies, which is a pretty decent pack to have on a shotgun especially for that close range combat and for the final remedy weapon today we have Kremver's tooth hopefully I'm saying that right there but this is one of my favorite wear weapons to obtain because it sends you on like I guess a mini type of side quest where you start having flashbacks on this kind of crazy stuff starts happening it's actually a really enjoyable experience to go ahead and I get this but to actually get this weapon you want to head over to the Dunwich Borers now it's going to be located right here on the map and uh, when you take out all of the enemies from the outside you're going to want to you know pretty much make your way inside of there now 
as you're progressing through the mind, I'm not going to spoil too much, but as you're progressing through the mind, you'll end up having these weird type of flashbacks. And at the very end of it all, um, you'll come across a water pool that you can jump straight down into. And at the very bottom of that is exactly where you will find the Kremvers tooth. And once again, this thing looks awesome. Like this is one of the best looking melee weapons in the game, in my opinion. And definitely wanted to add to the collection if you're someone out there who enjoys using melee weapons. And for the final two weapons, kind of making this a 12 rare weapons guide, uh, but I thought I'd include these from my previous compilation just in case you did miss that as a kind of like honorable mentions because these are genuinely great weapons that uh, you may want to get out there. We have the Lafusel Terribles, which I believe translates to the Terrible Shotgun if I'm correct, uh, which you can find over at Libertalia right here on the map. Uh, if you go ahead and clear out the area, then make your way in it to the Captain's Cabin. Uh, this weapon will be directly in front of you. Uh, definitely a very awesome rare variant of the Combat shotgun there and then we have the Reba 2 which you can actually find over at the Rock family house uh, as soon as you go to that location on the map you'll be given a quest from Barney straight away uh, and upon completing that quest he'll let you down into his basement and then you'll have to complete one more quest and upon completing that he'll then let you into his back room where on the table you will find the awesome Reba 2 sniper rifle so that pretty much wraps it up for this compilation today. I thought I'd just throw in a bunch of rare, awesome, and unique weapons uh, that you can find in Fallout 4, you know, into one huge video for you guys. Instead of doing them all separately, I know a lot of you guys do prefer it kind of in the compilation form, so that's exactly what I thought I'd go ahead and do for you guys today. So as always, if you did enjoy this video or did find it helpful at any point, uh, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. Subscribe for more compilation videos similar to this one, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.